Simplify this expression then. We're going to simplify the fraction, aren't we, by uh, getting the same denominators and cross multiplying. So let's put brackets around the terms because there's more than one term in each constituent part. So cross multiply 1 plus sine theta squared, that object squared, minus 1 minus sine theta, that object squared, over. Now the denominator we can write down, because there's a difference between two squares, we can write that as 1 minus sine squared theta. When you <coughs> work out this bracketed expansion here, you get this, which is cos squared. Now the top, we get 1 plus 2 sine theta plus sine squared minus, and I'm going to be careful here because I've got minuses when I expand the bracket and a minus here, so I'm going to do it in one fell swoop. So the first term will be 1, so that's minus 1. The second will be minus 2 sine theta, so that makes it a plus 2 sine theta. And the last term is sine squared with a plus. This will make it a minus sine squared theta all over. And 1 minus sine squared theta is none other than cos squared theta. So what have we got then? Well, we've got a minus sine squared and a plus sine squared. We've got a 1 and a minus 1. So we end up with 4 sine theta over cosine squared theta, which is equal to 4 tan theta, sine over cosine. So one of those is gone, times a sec, or 4 sec theta tan theta.